What's up everyone, KRT Ugo here, back with more F1 2021 for you guys, and this time we are at Spain for our career race, and it looks like it is going to be a wet one, so that it's definitely going to mix things up and make it an interesting one. Welcome along then to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? It's 730 metres from pole position down to a slippery turn one here, the first of 16 corners around this 2.89 mile racetrack. The long, wide turn three and the uphill right-hander of turn nine can both be taken full throttle in the right conditions, but I doubt very much we'll be seeing any of that today. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. And Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Perez, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, and Leclerc, Stroll, Vettel, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty. Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon, and Mick Schumacher. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Carlos Sainz. Samaya, Latifi, Smith, and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. All right, so as you guys have seen, we are starting on the back of the row. But not only that, Hamilton is actually starting at 11th, with this actually going to mix things up quite a good bit. Um, our qualifying session was in the dry, so we're going to make a quick setup change to our differential because we do not want to be spitting out after the first turn. Um, that would definitely not be good as we go over the rest of it. And then I forgot to adjust my uh, fuel load as it is raining and I am not going to need a lot of fuel um, when you're in the rain. Uh, yeah, you, it's just you're you're not on the throttle as much. Um, you're braking earlier. You're easier on the throttle on the exits. Uh, flat out turns are no longer flat out, so you're not using nearly as much fuel as you would be if it was a dry race. Um, here we go, going on to a formation lap, which I do speed through. Um, just get it over with, but I do do it so. I just I like I like my races to be kind of as realistic as possible. So uh, yeah, I like I like doing the formation lab. It also kind of gives you a, a little taste of how the car is going to handle, um, especially since the track is wet. Um, it is the formation lab helps out a lot to to feel how much grip you have. That way you're not going into the first turn or trying, when you actually start pushing the car, you're not uh, making too many mistakes. Here we go, lining up for the start of the race. As the lights go out, we go and we get a pretty good start, but I forgot to use ERS, so Mazepin just flies by us. Um, really pretty much a rookie mistake out of me and it is in the rain so not too big of a deal I'm just gonna let it go and just follow this pack as it sorts its way out 
and then try to figure out positions on where I can push and attack to get past people as I look towards the inside of this but it just didn't really have the grip to, to pull that move off um, as you can see and then I try to go around the outside here as well and it looks like I might have actually got it to stick but it looks like Mazpin might have used some ERS and fools back in front of me I'm really not gonna challenge that in that turn especially on the first lap um, so I'm just gonna let him have it and go so now we're on lap six trying to actually push an attack on Mazpin trying to get this pass over done and yeah just trying to go around the outside as I am just can't speak today for some reason um, he goes in bumps wheels a little bit and we try maybe try to around the outside nope we do not try around the outside we just let him have that position two laps later try see if we're get into a good position to pass as we go up the inside this time in turn one and we get the job done um pretty pretty easy move uh it might be a good passing point there's really nice not move. too good many job. uh good passing points on this track um as we catch up to latifi and we think about going down the inside we go down the inside and get past him cleanly yes we do and the job is done lap nine passing latifi moving up into 20th position here we are lap 11 going into that and daniel ricardo ricardo is out of the race as we look at the replay and it seems like engine failure maybe gearbox Sounded uh, his shift sounded a little rough, so could be engine or gearbox failure oh, there. Um, but as he form. pulls off to the side of the track, that is going to be a free pass for us. So we move up into 19th position. Green flag. Our next target is going to be Russell on lap 12. You're looking up the inside. Are we going to be able to get this done? Yes, it looks like we're going to be able to get this done. It moves us up into 18th position. It's a pretty clean overtake for us. Okay, us and our next right target is going to be Raikkonen in the Alpha Tori. Here we are gaining up on Raikkonen lap 14. Going into this fast right-hander. and it, He defends the inside, so we decide to go on the outside but it seems like we're neck and neck through the turn as we're still side by side and we got the inside up here so it looks like we should be able to get this job done but Raikkonen is still there and he actually make a little bit of contact there with the wheels and we let him have it to not uh, try to make any haste decisions in that turn or this one as passing in those could be extremely dangerous as he gets a little loose on the exit and gives us a good rundown on him on the outside going into this sharp left-hander as I guess we made a bit of contact but there it is passing Raikkonen <laughs> good pass for me um, yeah I'm, this was an extremely fun race uh, the rain made this very very difficult and interesting at the same time as our uh, next opponent is going to be our teammate which is 1.2 seconds ahead of us and we make a rookie mistake here as I realize it now I did not use ERS on the exit out of that turn and Raikkonen just swamps us he just flies right by us and getting the pass down on the inside like nothing and now we are back into 18th position going into lap 17 two laps later trying to make a move on Raikkonen again are we going to be able to get done on the outside again as he defends the inside yes we do it looks like it and it seems like this time as Raikkonen makes a bit of contact with us there we get it done pretty easily that time not too much side-by-side -side action there 
Now our next target is our teammate this time. We catch up to him. Lap 19. As Jeff informs us, this rain is here to stay. He defends the inside, so we choose to go around the outside again. This is seeming to be one of my favorite passing parts of this track, as it seems I have tried to pass people in there three times now, and successfully have done it twice. Alright, lap 22, going into the pits for our first pit stop. As Science is in the pits as well, our teammate is going to pass us. It looks like Raikkonen is going to pass us. It looks like Russell passes us as well. And Latifi, as long as he doesn't pass, is going to pass us. Yes, he does. Maze Pin gets behind, by us, and now we are in, well, dead last, except for Ricardo, who is out of the race. One more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. So now we got to... Continue to make progress, try to make the best of these fresh tires as we come out right behind Botas and wait for the people to pit ahead and hopefully we can pass them within the pits and not have to waste time passing them again on the track. Alright, next lap, lap 23, Botas is in the pit, so is Russell and Raikkonen as we get by those two. Yes, we do pretty easily. Science is 8 seconds ahead along with Maze Pin as well in 18th and 17th. Going to the lap 24th as Maze Pin and Latifi are in the pits. Our teammate looks like they're in the pits as well. Yes, they are. And so is Giovinazzi. But Giovinazzi is just ahead of us, putting us into 16th place. As we catch up to Giovinazzi on lap 27, we're going to try to go for the inside, but it we abort because it just didn't seem like we had it there which is probably the right call we were definitely a good bit behind him in that scenario going into lap 28 the next lap where you try to go down the inside and turn one we get beside him but are we actually going to be keeping he's still there we make a little bit of contact there as he pulls in front of us and we were unable to pass him in that instance as well. Going into lap 29, we're looks to be closer this time. We pull the inside and outbreak him as well. And we seem to get this pass done pretty nicely and easily on lap 29, getting past Giovinazzi as our next target is Schumacher. As we catch, starting to catch up to Schumacher, it seems like we are starting to get the blue flags from the faster cars behind. So we're going to let Botas behind us. And then there's a Red Bull behind us as well. And we're going to have to let him by soon too. So we avoid getting a penalty. Um, once I let him by, I, the smartest thing to do is try to stay close enough and use those guys to help me pass Schumacher. It is for Stappen that we let by. Um... But it doesn't look like that worked out to us. I guess we weren't able to keep up with him. But we do catch up to Schumacher now. We're right on his tail. And we try to get this pass done. We actually get a really good run up on him on the inside here. But then he just gets a really good exit. We try to take the inside of this turn. Still side by side. The pass has yet to be complete. Now he gets in front of us again and blocks off the outside. Doesn't leave us any room, which is smart of him. He makes us break to avoid an incident. As we go into lap 36, catching back up to Schumacher, but we're blue flagged again. So we're going to be letting Lando Norris... Racing the car behind. Let them pass when you can. Letting Lando Norris, and it looks like another Red Bull, so that should be Perez by... We're going to try to stay as close as possible to Perez and see if we can use these blue flags to our advantage to help us get past Schumacher, which has been shown to be a difficult task. Schumacher lets Perez by, and he lets us by too, pretty much, by leaving that big gap open for us to pass him. Nice move. And that's what I was trying to. Lap 44, we go into the pits again for our second pit stop of the race. And it looks like Schumacher six seconds behind us, so he's going to pass us. Giovinazzi is 14 seconds behind us, so he's going to pass us there. As that little uh, 
frame flame frame glitch you might have noticed I just edited out uh, the pause screen I did take a little bit of a break um, we roll up and we pull out right behind Russell it looks like however we are blue flagged and we are really close to Russell as well so it looks like it is a Ferrari it is Leclerc so we're gonna stay really close to Leclerc and try to get past Russell as well which we accomplish almost accomplish as we are still side by side and making pretty pretty rough contact with Russell and he is not giving up which I appreciate and he's still sticking his nose in there and I legitimately thought I was clear I am so sorry Russell um, I really hope you don't hold that against me because in the future I feel like I want you to be my teammate and for us to go and win our constructors as we take the outside to try to get past Raikkonen on our back side of the car gets a little loose Good. there Good job. Nice but we get to keep it and hold it together and not spin out and now we're moving a move on my teammate on lap 47 and around the outside as well as the fourth time I have made a pass on that turn or not <laughs> because it hasn't been completed yet um, but we do get past my teammate, putting us up into 16th place with Giovinazzi right in front of us. And he is in the pits. He takes a longer stint on his second one, and he pits a little bit later. But we do get by him in the pits, which is good news for us, putting us up into 15th position. Lap 49. Looks like Schumacher is in the pits as well, so we're going to get past him quite easily again, putting us into 14th position and as we are entering lap 50 um, this race is pretty much over with the next cars being pretty out of reach as we get blue flags again for what looks to be a Ferrari of Leclerc the next guy is 37 seconds ahead of us and Schumacher is 13 seconds behind us going on to the last lap as Veltteri Botas finishes and wins the Spanish Grand Prix and uh, we're just going to finish this lap up just stay clean as Sainz is 41 seconds ahead of us Schumacher is 14 seconds behind us so this race is pretty much over at this point uh, at least for me um, there might be some uh, battling going on between Ocon and Sites as they are within a second of each other. Actually, within a half a second of each other now. But yes, this this race was extremely enjoyable, um, extremely challenging. Uh, if you guys did watch my first race, uh, I did score in the points. Uh, at that race, my difficulty was also at 90. Um, so I bumped it up to 95 for this one, and it we have five laps of fuel remaining. It made a lot of difference. It actually made it more enjoyable, and honestly, coming at 14th place at Spain in the rain um, was really rewarding for me. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. But that is a great drive. I feel. I felt accomplished and I got driver of the day going from pretty much last place to 14th. A spectacular victory here in Spain and a massive confidence boost going into the next race. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I'd say it was down once again to good consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. We'll get there. We'll, we'll be on the podium one of these seasons. 
may, may not be this season. Um, may not even be the next, but... Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? I have to give it to Smith. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. All right, so we finally get up to level five, which I do believe means I can get an additional sponsor. And that will help greatly with getting more money in. And now we have a departure. Looks like our driver has an issue. We need you to step in here. Alright, so, uh... Developing the driver. Don't exactly remember his stats off the top of my head, so I don't know the uh, proper choice here. But I'm Thanks. just going to go with experience. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. Alright, so here we are back at the facility. And yes, we go to Corporation, and I can finally choose a secondary sponsor to help bring in some more money. That way we can start updating or upgrading some of our facilities. Um, definitely want to look for a high weekly income, however also a good bonus as well. Uh, something that's achievable. So like this one's looks like a good one. Weekly goal out qualify your rival. Um It's cool and all. But I don't have a rival yet, so it's kind of an issue. Uh beat your rival during a race. Yet again, cool. Don't have Arrival yet? To answer at least two interview questions during a race weekend. Um, I could have done this that this weekend. However, I chose not to comment on any of my questions, so that might be a tricky one as well. And that is it. Um, it's a definite no. Oh, this was so much easier in F1 2020. Yeah, it's not happening. Um. I'm I'm gonna go with this one. Mainly considering I don't have a rival yet. So hopefully that will help tremendously. As for vehicle, our uh, wear isn't looking terrible yet after two races. And we definitely have points to spend, so we're going to have to look into those and see what's actually going on. Um, as for this... This is going to be the primary one. Or I still, I have enough for this. So let's just 
team activities will slightly increase the effects. Um. That's that's the big one. So I think I'm gonna save up for that one, and then we will get that one first. Um. So yes, let's go see what we actually have in progress right now, which is an engine. Um, so far that is it, so I can go to aerodynamics or chassis, both of them have a good morale, so it helps things out. As we can see, our aerodynamics is horrible, so we might look at that. We have 1,500 points. I can't do two at a time because facilities aren't upgraded. Oh, man. So I was at a discounted. Because oh. I would it'd be huge. We are going into break, I think. Or did we already do that? I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yes, I'm gonna do suspension arm. The thirty-nine percent chance failure chance. That seems high. If I go down this thirty-nine, go down to this. 39, yeah, that's... They're all... Bad. So yeah, we're just gonna go with this, see what happens. So that's not gonna be ready. Um, there are two more Grand Prix, but... Really big upgrade. Um, and then we'll get our chassis as well. For that. Don't have enough for that. And don't have enough for that. Alright, so we're going to arrow upgrade. so far. Durability is really bad, so... Might as well. I was gonna try not to to develop durability department too much, but I need a car to last as well, especially when we get up to the higher performances. Um, so that is that. No, doing no facilities at the moment. Um, I actually. Yeah, driver perks. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, these are all very important. Um, I think I'm going to spend roughly the uh, one mil. Um, to get these to help out. I won't. And that will, that will definitely help out with that contract I just signed as well. So, there is that. Market value for him is 800. So I know. Alright. Now, we gotta figure out our activities seven days to use and we have a press interview all right seven days so I can do a three and a four or a two two and a three what are these um, gives team minus cash that would probably actually be a good one I do have aerodynamics in the work so Although that would be absolutely fantastic. fault and we received 300 points for that sweet all right so let's see what goes all right so ignition system pass that was great as we continue to increase our acclaim more potential partners become willing to work with us we can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate term Thanks. Already did. Now time to go to our press interview. Well, it's great to be back at your headquarters, and I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Let's dive in with some questions. Not, not really. Upgrades to your facilities seem to have stalled. Is there no more room for improvement, or are you prioritizing other areas? Uh, we don't have money. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. Um. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Seems like You've a, managed a to get answer? your team into a good position. How long do you think it will be before you can challenge the big three? Oh, phew, uh, two, maybe three, maybe five seasons. Um, help with our sponsors, yeah. Uh, We'll definitely be able to make some breakthroughs. Um, we need more sponsors, though. Well, thanks a lot for inviting us here. It's been fantastic. You had loads of questions for us. Thank you. Oh, our sponsors uh, noticed that one. Ooh, I, I think I got a little extra cash from that. I think I went, when I went into that, it was only at like 1.9 mil. So, that's cool. Now we have Monaco. Ugh, not looking forward to this race. Alright, with that, that is going to be it 
for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.